Throughout much of history, the Japanese have held the arts of archery and horseback riding in high regard. Yabusami is an ancient ritual of mounted archery held at shrines around Japan. Like many sacred traditions, it was always restricted to men, but now it has started accepting women too. This is one result of the recent evolution of Yabusame from a ritual to a sport. Toada is a city in the northern prefecture of Aomori. Every April, Toada holds a Yabusame tournament that's open to women only. This is my second year competing. Hitting the target is such a great feeling. It's the event's 14th year, and 36 riders are competing, the largest number yet. Riders wear elaborate traditional costumes. Though only 15 years old, Aoi Fusei competes among veterans. For years, I watched my riding instructor competing here. She always looks so cool, and this tournament is awesome. That's what inspired me to enter the event myself. This is Aoi's role model, her instructor, Ayuko Kamimura. Yabusame is a traditional art. We have to master the form, riding, and bow techniques, and the philosophy. One good example is a difficult technique called tachi skashi, for staying stable and balanced even at full gallop. Tachi skashi is a riding method unique to Japan. Holding the hip slightly above the saddle keeps the rider stable as the horse moves. This enables accurate shooting. Developed for combat by the samurai, the technique requires two years of intensive training to master. The sport of Yabusame involves shooting at three targets along a straight 200 meter course. A hit is announced by the opening of a red parasol. Final scores are calculated by number of hits and time taken. Aoi is doing well in today's tournament. Her teacher Kamimura is also on top form and the two are competing for first place. Aoi hits every target, riding at speed, with a best lap of 10.2 seconds. At the end of the contest, Aoi and her teacher are tied for points, but Aoi's faster time secures her first championship. Kamimura is a generous teacher, delighted to lose to her best student. It's now up to my generation to keep this old tradition alive. I feel very strongly that I have a duty to pass on the art exactly as I learned it. By opening up to women and evolving into a sport, this 1,000-year-old tradition can look forward to a bright future. <laughs>